I'm Sydney Frisch and this is my film, I Was Made for Another World. If I find in myself a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that I was made for another one. This is a documentary on C.S. Lewis and his impact. My film is comprised of fan interviews and b-roll of the movies, books, and footage that I shot of the physical books and films. Narnia is a huge part of my life and C.S. Lewis is a major influence. I grew up watching the Narnia films and when I was older and I discovered the books, I realized what they really meant and then I decided to create an online platform uh, called Narnia Heroes and Heart of Narnia, where I created video edits of Narnia. Very early on, I met Mackenzie. She completely changed the way I saw Narnia. She opened my eyes to all the religious aspects of it. As my platform grew, I realized how many people feel the same way I do about Narnia, and I decided to make an announcement on my page asking who would be interested in being interviewed for something like this and the response was overwhelming. I interviewed about 25 different fans, though it could have been a lot more. I just knew I always I always knew that I wanted to create something to show the impact that Lewis has had on the world. Narnia means the world to me. I can't ever put it into words and that's why I make these videos. I've, that's why I've always made these videos, because I, sh I can show it better than I can say it. And that was the main inspiration behind making this film. I want people to know what a special story it is. Um, but also, my boss, Gorman Bouchard, he's a filmmaker, and he created a documentary called Color Me Obsessed. It's about the band Replacements, and that was structurally the inspiration for this film. Um, that film is made up of fan interviews only, which was the same idea I went for for this film. I wanted it to be made of fans telling this story and explaining why it's so important. Luckily, because of my platform and because it is so large, I was actually able to get in contact with actors and actresses from the film. Um, so I got to interview William Mosley and Arabella Morton. I also got to interview Douglas Gresham, who is C.S. Lewis's stepson. That was a huge deal. I couldn't believe I was speaking to him. It was, it was a great honor. When it came to footage and music from the films, I knew I couldn't use any of it unless I was directly speaking about it um, as fair use. And at first that was a bit of a worry, but as I went through the interviews, everybody did a great job of describing scenes and you know, meaningful parts of the film, so I was actually able to use a good amount of visuals that people were talking about. I used Final Cut Pro to edit the film. I used a lot of the same sort of techniques that I do when I edit Narnia for fun. Um, a lot of special effects um, that I make. The film is mostly b-roll and interviews, so I did my best to shoot b-roll of the books, and even though the interviews were through Zoom and sometimes they are a little bit fuzzy, I'm pretty pleased with how good they were able to look, and I don't think it affects the story at all. I think the story was told, and the emotion is what's important. When it came to music, I used a website called Epidemic Sounds, which is a royalty-free music site. I shot b-roll with a Nikon D800 camera and I used a zoom recorder to record sound. I interviewed people through zoom, so I used the zoom recordings and audio for that. The construction of the film um, was very difficult to come up with because I had an overwhelming amount of interviews, like I said. I basically opened up the film with some facts about Lewis and who he was and why he's important to people, why Narnia is important to people. Um, I then get into the more religious aspects of it in the middle. Most of the film talks about symbolism and why and how he has altered people's faith with this story. I also get into the friendships 
that have been formed because of it. Arabella, William, and Douglas's interviews are scattered throughout. They helped narrate the story. Um, Mackenzie was the main narrator of the story. She speaks very highly of Lewis in every aspect, and, and she kind of led the way. It ends pretty emotionally. Um, people are very passionate about him and about his story, as am I. And I think I showed it the best I could. I couldn't be happier that I'm ending my college experience with this film because it means so much to me and I'm really proud of it and how it turned out. I think that it will show viewers why Narnia is so important to so many people.